Hi, my name is Doug, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Intel PSG, specializing in high-speed transceivers and serial IPs. Today, I'm going to show you the design flow for our new F-Tile devices. Today's agenda will cover three main topics, design creation with F-Tile, support logic generation, and finally, simulation with F-Tile. First, let's start with some new IP that is available for our F-Tile devices. We can find the F-Tile PMA Factorect Phi Intel FPGA IP in the IP compiler window shown here. Once open, we can see that the GUI is very similar to our other families. It allows you to choose your type of transceiver, FHT or the 116 gig PMA, FGT or the 58 gig PMA, as well as your data rate and your data path clocking modes. An important feature which is new for the Phi IP is the use of presets. These presets allow you to quickly find a series of parameter settings for a given set of configurations. There are 12 different presets which allow you to choose between transceiver type, FHT or FGT, data rate, 25 gig to 400 gig, number of lanes, one to eight, and even PMA coding style, NRZ or PAM4. You're free to alter any of the FIS parameters. However, don't violate any of the configuration-based rules. I have chosen preset PMA Direct FGT NRZ 25 gig by two. Notice that the PMA type is set to FGT, the number of PMA lanes is set to two, and the data rate is set to 25.7 gigabits per second in accordance with the preset. Other parameters have changed as well, but we won't go into each one here. There are also four example designs which are based on a subset of the available presets which contain the required PHI, PLLs, and data checkers and generators. The design illustrates the connectivity and the functionality of the IPs. The design examples are completely synthesizable and simulatable. Next, I'm going to open the FTile Ethernet Intel FPGA Hard IP Core located here in the IP catalog. The GUI looks familiar to what was available in our previous families for Ethernet IP. We can choose a wide range of options such as PMA type, Ethernet mode, FEC mode, and PTP. Much like the PMA FEC Direct Phi IP discussed previously, you can generate an example design for your Ethernet variant by simply clicking on the Generate Example Design button in the GUI. The generated example design will provide you with a fully synthesizable and simulatable design which provides all the required IP, the required connections, and even packet generators and checkers. Next, we will run Support Logic Generation and the Quartus Compilation Flow GUI. We know that Quartus has successfully completed this step since we see green check marks next to both the design analysis and logic generation items as shown here. If this step didn't run successfully, we would have been shown a series of errors in the message window with red X's next to design analysis or logic generation. To run the simulation of Mentor's QuestaSim tool, first navigate to your design examples test bench directory and invoke QuestaSim. Once open, we run the simulation by typing do run underscore vsim.sh. This command will execute the run vsim script, which compiles all the required FTile device libraries, design components and test bench for the design example, elaborates the design example and test bench, and finally runs the simulation. Please be patient. FTile is a more complex architecture than Intel's previous FPGA families, so simulation may take a bit longer than anticipated. Now that the simulation is complete, you can examine the waves for any signal that you choose in the simulations hierarchy. I have showed you how to generate both the PMA FEC Direct Phi and Ethernet FTile IPs, create their design examples, run support logic generation, and finally run your simulation. For more information about the IPs demonstrated, refer to the resources located in the bottom right of the screen. For further information, or to view more videos related to the new FTAL devices, please visit www.intel.com. Thank you.